Salam. Peace be upon all those who followed the guidance, followed the signs, followed the signals, found their way from the darkness to the light. Those who are not lost. My name is Salim Siddiqui. That doesn't mean anything to you, does it? You can't remember. Let's try this another way. Jacob sent me. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the hotconflict.com pop culture podcast, and we're talking about the series finale of an epic show here in the West called Lost. Lost, as we said, is a special term of art for those of us who are on this journey of life and are awake, and we know when we say that someone is lost, it means they are disconnected from the unity, disconnected from the oneness, disconnected from the light. Well, of course, you want to know what I'm talking about and you want to know why you're here. As you already know, no one can tell you why you're here. You have to figure that out for yourself. But what I'm here to talk to you about is the center of this matter, the focus of our issue, and that is the island. The island that we have all been lost on. And that island is the heart. The heart. It is the light at the center of the island. It is the light at the center of the earth. It is the light that is in the center of you and me and all of man and all of creation. It is finding that light in the center of everything that is the journey of ascension. And many people on this earth are here who are awake and many people are still lost. You're going to hear a special treat tonight, brothers and sisters, because people aren't sure what has happened. Some people are still confused. Some people are still unsure. They took all that time watching a show and they don't know what it means. They don't know if this was some random event in their life or if there is a purpose to everything. I said my name. My name is Salim Siddiqui. And people ask me, who am I? Am I an imam, a sheikh, a priest? I'm a follower of the Prophet Muhammad. But more than anything, I've been telling you, I'm your brother. But just like they ask my brother Desmond, they say, are you a priest or something? <laughs> we answer, or something. Why am I here? My name is Salim, and even though you don't realize it, I'm your brother. And as for what I want, I'll tell you, I want to leave. Well, of course, everybody wants to leave. We all want to go on a journey, we all want an escape, but are we willing to pay the price? Are we willing to make the sacrifices? Are we willing to do what it takes, not for ourselves, but for others? As we watch those who we love on this island go through that journey, Jack, Kate, Sawyer, Saeed, Hurley, both those who we love and those who we hate and those who we cheered for and those who we cursed, depending on different moments, we all started to learn something, that life can't be seen just from a glimpse of any one moment, that it is a more grand and complex thing. And if you look and if you pay attention and if you truly listen and watch with your heart, you just might find something beautiful and you won't be lost anymore. Well, of course, this story was about Jack. It was always about Jack and any story has a leading character and the leading character is always clear from the very beginning. And for those of you who didn't understand who the leading character was, you missed a very basic sign as every messenger of the light and every brother or speaker or master told you. 
as the Messenger Muhammad told all of us, as the Master, the Messiah, Jesus told all of us, as was the teachings of every single prophet, each one of you is a shepherd and you are responsible for a flock. And so has our brother Jack took this flock on this journey through the islands. A shepherd of the people, we saw things, whether we knew it or not, from his eye and his perspective. And if you didn't see that, and if you didn't understand that, maybe you're still lost. We're taking a journey from this world to another world like many people have journeyed before. My name is Salim, son of Shamshad from the family of Sadiq, and I've got to ask you a question. Are you a candidate? Is your name written on the wall? Oh, my brothers and sisters, there are many of our people who are here on this earth right now trying to help you remember what you should already know. The followers of the tribes of Jacob, the followers of the Brotherhood of Light know that at the center, at the heart of this earth is a temple, a temple built by our brother Solomon. And there in that temple, written on the wall, are the names of every single candidate that we expect to join us in the gathering. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I've been telling you for a long time what you already know. We're leaving. I know you don't understand. I know you can't understand everything yet. But if you come with me, if you listen along, if you pay attention to the journey, you will understand and you'll be so happy that you did. There are many of us here who are your brothers and sisters, but sometimes you don't understand even when we tell you, even when we remind you, even when we try to make you remember. My name is Salim and I'm your brother and I've been telling you for a long time and if you're hearing this message for the first time, I'll say it to the way that you just might understand. I'll see you in another life, brother. And for those of you who've been on this journey, I've already told you, I have seen you in another life, my brothers and sisters, and I will see you again. And for those who don't pay attention, and those who don't understand, and for those who plot, <laughs> and we watch their plots and we watch their plots fail, and they don't think the day will come when the truth will be revealed. Even to you who think you won't see those of us who pass on from this world? My name is Salim, and I'll be seeing ya, boy.